That's a good one. That's a good mango. Yes. Yes. Man, this guy was pulling drag. Look at that. First shrimp going down, let's go. We're just freelining shrimp today. Um, I was gonna go look for a pinfish. I was gonna cast that for some bait, pinfish or uh, mohara. But look at this, it's so cloudy. Looks like spotted four. So I just went ahead and bought like a few dozen shrimp. And we're just gonna be fishing with shrimp, man. We're gonna be using them to catch uh, mangrove snapper. I just got a bite right there. There it is. Ah, oh, broke me off. It came off, the hook pulled. Let's throw on another shrimp. That's not like a snook. Oh my god, look at that flounder, man. <laughs> First fish of the day, it's a freaking flounder. And that's a nice one too. I didn't even feel him bite it. Man, that's gonna go in the box. That's a good one. Let's see if I can't hold him up to show you guys. Look at that. <laughs> That's some good eating right there. We're gonna throw him in the box. We're fishing for a uh, snapper today, but we will take flounder any day. Look how small the shrimp is, guys. That's the kind of shrimp you get in July. Super tiny. A shrimp is a shrimp and it'll still work. <laughs> Super tiny, man. All right. Something's gonna take him. Man, he bumped that shrimp. <laughs> He's little though, little guy. Oh yeah, right on the corner of the mouth. Yeah, man. Look at that, tiny. Little dude. They love the shrimp, man. Everything is shrimp. I right, see, but I just had to cut off like a couple of inches of leader because that snook kind of frayed my line a little bit and I didn't want to risk losing fish. So I just clip it off. I think we should be good now. Trim off the tag end. Fishing with live shrimp. One of my favorites, man. These guys aren't even that big, as you can see. And I'm still catching fish with them, so... It's about how you use it, you know? Sometimes it is about the quality size of the, the bait, the quality of the bait. But, it's also how you use it. That's how I hook my shrimp. Either through its head, in between the brains and the... Um, I don't know, there's, there's like a clear part right there, that's where you want to hook it. On the head. The dark spot, that's his brain. You don't want to pierce that because you'll kill it. So I either hook it through its head like that or through its tail. So those are the only, the only two spots I hook my shrimp. Because when I fish live shrimp, I typically just freeline it and I want it to stay as lively as possible. Just so, uh, just so it's, it's more natural, you know? But they'll take dead shrimp too. Um, that's just personal preference. Fish. Oh my god, another snook. <laughs> another little baby snook, man. That's kind of like a, a subtle cook. Come here, buddy. I'll let you go. Uh -huh. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's very tiny, but... You can see the fray. 
hooking it through its head, through that clear part. You guys probably can't see it. Probably, the camera's probably not gonna pick that up, but actually, actually it might. Take a look at that. See, there's like the dark spot right there, right behind that, right on uh, on the on the uh, right side of that hook. So you just want to go right in between that, and he should stay alive for a very long time. Again, guys, we're just free lining, no weights or anything. Oh my God, another snook, man! Not a bad one. He's decent, man. He's covered in grass. I'm so tempted to just go down here and just land. All right, I'm just gonna have to land him this way. All right, man. Pretty cool. It's a nice little snook there. All right, see you, buddy. Before I throw on another shrimp, let me show you guys the combo I'm using for today. This right here is a 7.2 uh, Chris Green's custom rod, 6 to 12 pound class, medium action. For the reel, we're running 3,000 size Shimano Sustain, 10 pound Andy, and 20 pound Yuzuri fluorocarbon leader. Just freelining shrimp, fishing with live shrimp today. We're gonna fish at this spot for a little bit longer, for probably 30 minutes to an hour longer. And then we're gonna head on to our next spot and try to get on mangrove snapper. I know there's mangrove snapper down here, but the snook are just too fast, man. I'm just happy to catch some fish today because, you know, yesterday I got skunked. And you know how that feels when you get skunked. Not fun. All right. All right, we got flounder and three snooks so far. Not bad. It's only been like, what, 30 minutes or so? We still got another spot to go check out. And uh, we're gonna try to get on some mangrove snapper. But, we will take anything at this point, man. So the way I'm fishing the shrimp is I'm just casting it up current and letting it drift close to the, uh, the strike zone. So what you want to do is cast it up current and just let it sink. Just, just give it slack, let it sink all the way down to the strike zone. And the strike zone is where the dock is. So you want, to, you want the shrimp to like go a little bit deeper. You want it to drop a little bit deeper when it gets near the, um, near the dock. And that's when I usually get the strikes. Oh, I'm a grouper. <laughs> Look at that little grouper, guys. Mr. Gag grouper, he's small. He's probably 15, 14, 14 inches there. <laughs> little guy. So cool though, man. Look at him, he's lit up. Look at that tail. All right, see you, bud. That was a cool catch. No snapper yet though, but we're not giving up. We're gonna get him. We're gonna find those snappers. All right, let's throw on this, uh, let's, let's throw this guy down. Fishing with like mini size shrimp. And it's, it's working, man. Size don't matter, it's, it's, it's how you work it. Oh my God, what is this? What is this? That's a good one. That's a good mangrove, yes. Yes. Man, this guy was pulling drag, look at that. That guy is going in the box, baby. That's a nice one, man. This guy was pulling drag. He's probably 13 inches, 13, 14 inches there. Snapper Sammy, awesome. There's another good one there. Oh, it's a, it's a gag grouper. No wonder why he's pulling drag like crazy. Look at this grumpy grouper, guys. He's a little bit bigger than the other one. The other ones we caught earlier. Look at that, man. It's not a bad size grouper right there. I'm gonna have to get my pliers for this one here. Kind of, it's kind of in there. And I do not want to stick my finger in there with all those teeth. I'd hate to be bait fish, man. Look at look at the teeth. I'd hate to be pinfish or any bait fish, really. <laughs> Open your mouth, buddy. Oh, there it is. All right. He's ready to go. He's like, let me go. I need to try to get grouper off the skyway soon. All right, see you, bud. 
Sometimes when I feel like tying an FG knot, I'll just tie it. But if I feel lazy or I don't have time tying the knot, I'll just uh, tie on the uni to uni. Those are the only two main knots that I tie for my line to line knot. Time is of the essence, guys, in the summer, especially in July. You don't know when it's gonna rain, so you contend with the rain, the heat, and the wind. <laughs> Again, guys, just hooking it through its head like that. All right, I'm just gonna toss him down there and let him do his thing, man. There's another one. This guy's small, though. We are gonna have to let him go. He's tiny. See, you, buddy. On a side note, if you want a free line shrimp, oh, let me let me reel this fish in first. He's not even that big. On a side note, if you want a free line shrimp, uh, you got to use light line, man. Like 10 pound braid, 15 pound braid, and like 20 pound, 25 pound leader, and just a hook. Because if you use like 20 pound braid, it depends on how big the shrimp is. If the shrimp's like like a jumbo size. Uh, select size then yeah you can free line with 20 pound braid but if you're free lining with 30 pound 50 pound braid you're not going to be able to toss that shrimp around it's just the line is just way too heavy and it's just not going to cast far at all but if you're free lining like pinfish you know bigger size bait yeah you can use heavier braid but for for shrimp uh 10 pound braid 20 pound leader 25 pound leader light tackle guys 3,000, 2,500 size reel, seven foot rod. You should be able to do it. We're gonna head on to the next spot and uh, hopefully get onto some more fish. Let's go. We're gonna fish at this spot for maybe like 30 minutes or so. And if we don't get any keepers, we're gonna have to uh, try another Try another spot, try a lug at another spot. I'm on it already, I think. Oh no! <laughs> he tried to grab it. He might be a keeper though. He might. Uh, we're gonna throw him back, he's tiny. Oh my god, he almost got it! We got to go. We're gonna have to go before we hit one of these pelicans. Look at him! Look at him! Little guy. He's not a keeper. He's probably seven, eight. It's probably eight inches. That might be a good one there. Yeah, he's not a keeper. He's probably nine and a half right there. He's a keeper though. Oh, freaking bird trying to get him. Go away, bird. Oh, I still got my shrimp back. There you go, bud. Might be good actually. Staying down though. He might be 10. Nah, we'll, we'll let him go. Yeah. See you, buddy. Starting to sprinkle, guys. There it is. Oh my god, it keeps coming off. What's going on, man? Alright guys, that's a wrap for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.